What's up guys, I am Black Ops Space and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 Zombies video on my channel today. I've got a bunch of information I want to share with you guys. Hopefully you do go on to enjoy the video. As always, if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. You are gonna enjoy the content on here. I have so much to share with you to do with this game. And if you do enjoy it by the end, you know what to do. Drop a like rating and we'll get straight into it. So recently, a few things have been released on Treyarch's Facebook page regarding just little bits of information regarding um, Black Ops 3 Zombies, I guess you could say. So what I'm going to do is show you the first clip and then we'll discuss it after. It has all the kind of different archetypes uh, and styles in there from the kind of the big theatre down to the to the Docklands uh, and um, the alleyways and the, the bars and the tobacco shops, you know, it's, it's all kind of mixed together and it, it kind of makes it look like it's a it's a city that, that people have lived in and it's it's a city where if it were real you'd want to walk around for days and weeks and months to to really kind of soak it in and understand all the little back alleys and hidden things that may be in that city. So there we go, I've got a second clip I want to show you in just a second with even more information but we already knew that this map is going to be massive, in fact the biggest map we have ever seen for Call of Duty Zombies, going to be, there's going to be loads of shops, hidden alleys, um, just, just loads of things within this map, so like I said, tobacco shops, theatres, you can go downtown, down to the canal if you want to, um, it really is just going to be a massive map and we already know that we will be having a uh, suspended train I guess you could say, or a uh, just a different mode of transport. But just like in transit when we had the bus in Shadows of Evil, we'll be having a suspended railway. So we're, again, that really should help us get around this map. In terms of the depth, complexity, replayability, then uh, Shadows of Evil for Black Ops 3 is the deepest, most intricate uh, uh, realization of the zombies experience to date. Um, it's not just about the side, the physicality of the map, it's about the crafting and the love that's kind of gone into the experience that you have. So there we go, this map is going to have a lot of replayability, meaning we're not just going to get bored of it the first few times we've played it, it's going to be different each and every time, we can play it up to 50 times and there's always really going to be something in there that's different which is what I really like. He also mentioned crafting at the end, um, probably talking about just you know how different it's going to feel, but I was just thinking are craftable items going to be coming back to Shadows of Evil? I do hope they uh, are going to be returning because things like the zombie shield uh, really did change up the game. One thing I wouldn't like to see is buildable weapons but you know just side equipment and stuff like that is always nice and uh, like I said there's going to be so many things into this it's going to have a very deep storyline uh, which is something I like. For the city, for the combatants against you, for the easter eggs laid through there, through the weapons, through the uh, interplay and kind of dialogue which reveals lots of story things if you're if you're a zombie guy who's into the, the narrative and where we're going of which you know uh, we very much are. Um, all that stuff is layered in, uh, and you can't you can't get that on a, on, a, on a single playthrough. And we design it and create it with that kind of mentality, which is we're expecting people to be drawing new information, getting new stuff uh, after their 50th playthrough. So there we go. Again, it's going to have a deep storyline. Like you said, there's going to be loads of Easter eggs. And to actually, you know, get the full Easter egg, get the full Zombies experience, they are making you play it multiple times, you know, uh, because the first time you play it, there's going to be things you missed, you know, uh, the, the characters are going to be saying different things. In one game, they might say something. In another game, they might say something else. They won't say, you know, all the time the exact same things in the same game, if you know what I mean. Like I said, the Easter egg, hopefully it's going to be amazing. They are really focused on it. I'm expecting it to be big. And uh, so far, it is looking very good. So let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. I'll have more Black Ops 3 content coming very soon. I might also kick up with other videos as well. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'll try and reply to you. Uh, tr try and reply to as many of you guys as possible. I always do. I really appreciate all the support. So if you could drop me a like rating, Let's go for 115 likes if we could go past that. That'd be awesome. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, peace out.